Hi, I'm Christian, and in this video I will be showing you how to install SOLIDWORKS with the WPI license. Now, just as a reminder, SOLIDWORKS only runs on Windows-based systems. It will not run on Mac OS X or Linux-based systems. With that out of the way, first thing you're going to want to do is to connect to vpn.wpi.edu. You do not need to do this step if you're on campus, so just skip to the timestamp in the description if you're on campus and you want to install SOLIDWORKS. So you want to sign in and enter your credentials to get onto vpn.wpi.edu. Then you're going to have this network connect. You just want to click start. So what this is going to do is it's going to search for the Pulse application launcher. Uh, it's going to search if you have it installed. I know for a fact I don't have it installed. So I'm just going to click download and it will give you this application. You're going to want to run this once and it solves itself. Then click here and open the application launcher. Now you'll see in the bottom right, my Wi-Fi symbol will turn into uh, Ethernet. And that's how you know that you're on the VPN. Another way you'll be able to tell is there will be a Pulse Secure icon in the taskbar. This is finished installing. You just click Start one last time, open the launcher, and give it a second. and there connected to the VPN so now that we're on the VPN what you want to do is you want to connect to your network drive so if you open your file explorer go to right click on this PC and add a uh, map a network drive so I'm gonna pick R as my letter because that's the default for WPI computers and for the folder you're gonna want to type in backslash backslash storage backslash dot WPI dot edu backslash software and then click connect using different credentials and finish then you're going to enter your WPI login credentials and once this connects if you give it a second you'll see a R drive pop up right here storage so under here you're going to want to go to SOLIDWORKS is right here and we want to download SOLIDWORKS 2017 so to do this you just copy the folder go to your desk go to your desktop or wherever you want to have it located in my case I have a SOLIDWORKS folder and just paste it now this step does take a obscenely long time if you're off campus and even if you're on campus uh, last time I did this off campus it took about 20 hours so I'll get back to you once this finishes so once your folder finishes copying over, for me again it took about 20 hours, you're going to want to open it up and inside you'll see two Start SOLIDWORKS install applications and you're going to want to run the HTML one. Uh, you're going to want to just click Start SOLIDWORKS product, installing SOLIDWORKS products now, allow it to change your device and it will boot up the SOLIDWORKS installation manager. From here SOLIDWORKS should automatically install uh, I believe SOLIDWORKS Electrical, eDrawings, Visualize, and Professional. So then it's just going to go through the whole install process, so we'll check back again once that's done. Once the installation manager finishes up, you should look to your desktop and see four new shortcuts. And that's it. That's all you need to do. SOLIDWORKS is now installed. Uh, it is worth noting if you're off campus, in order to use SOLIDWORKS, you need to have the VPN running. Uh, which means you can't run it in offline mode, which is a bit annoying, but it's how SOLIDWORKS licenses it to WPI. Thank you for watching.